Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Zach. You're watching another episode of What That Line. In this episode, we're heading out to Missouri. I got my daughter Brooklyn right here. Hey. Say what's up. What's up? And then I got my, my youngest daughter Savannah. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, about 5.30 in the morning, y'all. We're gonna head out. It's gonna be me, Megan, my mom, uh, my brother Walter. I got my two daughters with me, of course. We're all gonna go out to Missouri. Um, we're gonna try to go after a paddlefish. That's what I want. And you guys are coming along with me. We're gonna head out to LAX. So I'll see y'all guys when the uh, when the taxi pulls up. Mm. All right, guys, let's get packed up. All right, y'all. So we made it out here to the airport. It'll be a three-hour flight over to Dallas, and then we'll go up to Missouri, and y'all are coming with us, so not too much longer before we get on the plane. But we got the crew right here. All right, making our way, making our way. Boom. How you feeling, Brooklyn? Good. Keep you from being up. Got my mom, got my brother, Megan, Brooklyn, Savannah, and me. We'll see you at Dallas. Very, very nice. Got the kids in the back. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really do appreciate every single one of you. I know uh, hundreds of you guys right now that are watching it this week are brand new, and thank you guys for tuning in. I do appreciate that. This is Wet That Line. We're, I usually, uh, it'll be a quicker video. I just come on and say, you know, this is Zach from Wet That Line. This is what we're doing, and then we just get straight into it. But this is my first like travel vlog where we're, I'm, I'm taking you guys somewhere. So, um, uh, I really want to do the best that I can for all of you guys watching and one thing I think that'll help do that is if I can take you guys places that maybe you're not able to go, you're busy, but you guys can watch me go out and um, this is something that's going to be awesome. I'm visiting, or we're all visiting, my grandma and my grandpa and um, so that's the main reason why we're here but while I'm here, I, I gotta catch some fish and I... Uh, yeah, I can edit all of this. I can go poo poo. I have poo poo in my booty. <laughs> and we're going to cut that out. <laughs> we're going to go out on with the guide. I will see you guys when it is time to go fishing. So we're going to go fishing right now. We're out here in Warsaw, Missouri. We're going to be going out with the guide. My first freshwater guide for something I've never fished for. Spoonbill. Let's get straight on the boat, baby. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Dan? Guys, I'm Captain Dan. Captain Dan, Zach, love to, glad meet, to you. meet you. Glad to meet you. This is my this oldest, Brooklyn. Lady? Brooklyn. Brooklyn, glad you, to meet don't you. Don't be scared to say nothing now. No, no. Um, I got to go up here and use the restroom real quick. You guys can get on board. The boat's a little dirty because all I've been doing is working lately. They dropped the lake a little bit, so that's not always good. But uh, yeah. I think we'll be fine. I'm going to get this young lady on a big fish. To... All right, Brooklyn, come here. Give me your hand. You're going to step on over, be real careful, and then come back here and sit on a seat. All right. Ready? Boom. There you are. You've been getting compliments on your boat the whole time, by the way. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, it's the biggest uh, guide boat that Sea Arc builds. Well, and twenty-six and, footer. And it's a oh, and I might as well get on here. Yep. Um, and that's a that's a heck of a trolling motor right there, man. Yeah, yeah, latest and greatest for Lawrence. Yeah. It's, you know, five thousand dollar trolling motor, and it's got the everything. I I just got the boat in February, and I, I've been booked every day, so a lot of the stuff I had I haven't had a chance to play with. It's, Dang. It's a work boat. It's a heck of an office. Yeah, this is. I mean, this is the life right here. Yeah. 
if you're gonna be out here 200 days plus a year, this is what you wanna be in. Yeah, absolutely. Heck yeah. And thank you so much. I mean, this is uh, this is my first time. I appreciate your business. Absolutely, absolutely. And, uh, my main thing is always get you fish, but get you back and forth safe all the time. I'm gonna tell you, we got a lot of things going against us today, but I still feel like we're gonna do good. Yeah. Uh, condition. Well, you're lucky, aren't you? Yeah. Oh well, we got nothing to worry. Oh yeah, she's lucky one right here. <laughs> Sweetheart, you can come up here and set if you want to. Hey, come on up here, baby. Put dad in the back. Yeah, I, <laughs> this is her first time being out on a boat to go fishing, so. Oh my gosh, well, you're in for a treat. We're gonna have a good time, I promise you. I've been, I've got about 19 years of experience on this guy. Can I just, like, play? What that is, it's just a light from Sea Arc, and it stays on all the time, so it's kind of, a day like this where it's really kind of foggy and uh, not a lot of light to see, it gives you a little light through there to see. And then I got one here by this bike. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Got a beard on it, don't it? <laughs> it, that, it? You'll hear that for miles away, huh? <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up on plane here. We're gonna run down the lake. Originally, if they had been running a lot of water, we would have uh, fished up there by the dam, by the buoys, yeah. and uh, caught some catfish. But they're gonna make us work for it today. Is that okay? Heck yeah, you ready for Oh, you're too slow. Oh, you oh, gotta wake up, girl. All right. All right. <laughs> Heck yeah, guys. We're gonna be getting out there. We'll see y'all when we get there. Dan, tell us a little bit about the uh, the season for Spoonbill. It starts the 15th of March and goes to the end of April. And uh, we have, I think we have the best Spoonbill throughout the United States right here in Warsaw, Missouri. We have a big abundance of them. And uh, um, we've, we've had really good luck about harvesting them. And uh, our wardens and, and people down here that uh, help that all possible with uh, size limits and things. Are really good about keeping that all lined out so that way the fish gets to be a good size yeah yeah it the protects it for nice. everybody right right so our conservation guys are top notch and if you guys are out there and you're new to fishing make sure you take care of your fishery one easy way to make sure you're doing that is clean it up make sure if you see any trash clean that trash up that's right so don't don't litter in the lake please yeah do it yeah. we want it for our kids and grandkids and it's, it's a great fishery but yeah, we're pretty fortunate. We're allowed two a day a piece, a spoonbill here in Missouri. No special tags. That's that's really great. That's a lot of fish and that's a lot of fun. So we're gonna pull back up here where we started marking fish. And we're gonna fish down through here. There's quite a few fish on the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna recruit your help for a minute. There, you see that little guy? Yeah. So I'm gonna have you just kind of steer the boat that direction, right, right, right toward them black lines, so I can get these rods out. All right, you guys are going to be resetting this one. So we're just having Brooklyn bring it in without anything on it yet. And you see the dipsy diver? That's the very end of the line, okay? See, you forgot all about being cold. You're excited, girl. We gotta get them other rods in. Ready? Come on. Here, I'll tell you what, we're gonna break the rule. We're gonna put you on the fish. So you sit down in that chair. You got the fish. Oh, yeah, I can see you on that thing. Uh, I don't know. Here, you got it? You crank. You might have came off. You crank it. Start cranking real hard. That fish might have came off. Oh, I brought it up a little bit much. Alright. Keep drinking, darling. I think you might have came off. My golly. We'll find out. If he did, that's okay. It wasn't meant to be. I think he did come off. Keep going. You're doing good. Stand up, there baby. You go. 
There you go. Heck yeah. Yeah, he came off. All right, let me reset it. Very good. That's what I'm talking about. Girl power. Oh, you on one, girl? My hand is over to the doctor. Thank you. Keep on going. What you got on there? Big enough? huh? I'm gonna get out of your way, then. Woo, girl, look at that. Just a little bit. What is that? That is a paddlefish, baby. That is a spoonbill. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go get the tail. How about the tail? Dad, help me. Right, you're no, good, you're, you're good. good, you're good. Just, here, grab, oh, you gotta grab the rod at all times. Yeah, grab that rod, baby, hold on. There we go. Okay, so what we gotta do now is take this reel out of gear. Free spool. Ah, there we go. Ah. Now, lift Wait, this I up need to here. put my shoe on. My this shoe. is your first paddle fish, huh? Girl, look at that. All right. Oh, my, my word. Now, put your shoe on, put your shoe on. Come yeah. here, I got a okay. job for you. Stand up here. Just stand up here on that back deck. Go ahead. Woo, girl. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Oh, good my job. word. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, you can jump down. There's some rags over yes, there. Yes, thank you. Pound it, girl. Right, right, Boom. Right. Heck yeah. All right. One in, baby. Nice job, young lady. And I, we, we started reeling in. The, as soon as we got that fish on, we started reeling the other I stuff, and I grabbed that camera as fast as I could. So you guys was. saw pretty much the whole action there. That was a quick fight for it. That was a good intro for it. I was, I didn't think it was a spoonbill, and I thought it was just a different fish, like just a, just like a mini shark or something. I don't know. I just yeah. saw the tail. I'm like, yep, yeah, that's a shark. You saw oh that, you my god! You saw the tail, and you said, yeah. oh, that's a shark. Oh, and then I saw the fish. And I'm like, nope, that's a spoon. Yeah. A spoonbill. They're Pretty fish, aren't they? Yeah. They're big. Yeah, they're yeah. They're the big ones. All right, y'all, we're gonna get set up again and do it again. Oh yeah, it's time. There you go, good job. Didn't take drag, is he taking drag? No, no. Oh, nice fish. Ooh, yeah. Looking right in the field. That's why he's not fighting as hard. Hang on just a second. Right in the field. Ooh. Good fish, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is good fish or not. I. The fork's got to be 32. He's going to be legal. I. Oh. Fork. Back up here. Yeah. Maybe a little shy. Half now. inch off. That's all right. That's all right. Got to go back. That's all right. That's that's fine with me. <laughs> Shoot. There you go. Like Perfect. I did. Yes. Right. Yes. Go. Good job. Whoo! Heck yeah. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, Very cool. Big old. All right. Now just let him out. Yep. Just pitch him out the back. Okay. Bye, Fishy. Good job. Yeah. Good yeah. release. Yeah. That was that was a nice nose dive <laughs> for him. All right. Y'all, my adrenaline is pumping. I feel so good. Yeah, nice oh, yeah. and easy. Let him take the line. That's definitely a good fit. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 he's coming. How far you got? 86. Oh, he's keeper. That's going to be a 50 or 60 pound bed, I'm sure. He's coming. When he pulls, he can feel him, but I think yeah, he's, he's coming slow. There oh, we go. Yeah. 
Oh, that was a big one. Oh, I got him in the, in the bill again. <laughs> oh, in the bill again. Oh, God. That's, that's another male. All right. I thought that was going to be a big female that time for sure. Ah. We're going to have to measure right him to make sure. Oh, he's going to lift right tip that way. With the, oh, oh, to your left? There you go. Gotcha. He's barely hooked. Yeah, he'll make it. Cool. You would have left any pressure on him at all, he'd been gone. Yeah. That was a good job of fighting him. I appreciate that, thank you. Check and make sure. Right, to the fork. Oh, oh man. Oh no, no, he got too far back. There's the eye, right. there's the fork. He's 30, 33. Oh. You're good. Heck yeah. He'll Sweet. measure. Dang, this, hey. this here, you got a chance to catch a 100 pound fish. This one here. Right. Brickman, come on over and start reeling it. Oh. All right, well, you just. Oh, I thought you were going to start okay. it. Okay, there you go. I'm sorry. There you go. Here, start here's the camera. Here's the camera. There you go. Take a breath, Brickman. Take a breath. Right, baby. The chair left hand in front of that reel. There you go, just like that. Pull back on it. Keep going. Okay. You got to go. The boat's blowing that way. That gives us big muscles. You ready? I'm going to take it out of there. We're going to try to fight it normal here. Ready? I don't feel it. There it is. Oh, this feels like it might be small. Is that fine? Is it small? No. That was, I thought it was a tiny one right there. Here, hold, hold the rod. You want me to just kind of unhook them? Nice little guy, we gotta throw him back though. Good job. We'll catch good another good one guy. though. That's right, that's right. Hey, that was a good job moving on that fish. Did you see how easy that hook came yeah. out? You gave him any slack, you just swam off. That's right. Well, we're getting it. We're getting it down pat. This real, you good. Heck yeah. Woo! And the six is number seven. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. You're good. Just keep going. You're doing great. Put it, put it in the upright position on that rod holder for it. Gotcha. All right, you ready? How's it feeling? Put it, put it, put it in the upright position. This one? Yeah. yeah. Here, here, here. Let's stick it in the upright position. There, there you go. go. Now let's crank. Now go on, baby. Now crank him. Now crank him down. That should be a little better fit. The way it's taking on. Wait, where's the counter thingy? You're, this one doesn't have one on this one. Ah. Don't worry, you're just going to be watching. Don't worry, you're just going to be watching. There you go. It's coming in kind of easy or what? A little. Alright. If I do this. Yeah? yeah. Alright, you do that. There you go. There you go, darling. Just keep on coming. You're doing good. Oh, You're doing great. Keep on coming. Good yeah, job. Yeah, you good. You keep you're going. You good. got it, baby. You keep don't need any going. help, I don't think. I think you're doing oh, great. My hands, uh, my hands are oh, coming. you're fine. Just keep, keep on pushing. Cranking. Keep no, pushing. You, you can do it. Oh, Ooh, you got oh, him in nice the tail, girl. You hooked her into the tail again. Okay, that's good. There that's you go. Good. Leave that's it. Leave it. Leave it. Now what we'll do is we're gonna go like this. Wait, what is that? It's a spoon, Bill. Don't run off, dear. Huh? There we go. 
There we go. That one should measure without any trouble. Woo! Hey, that's that boy. You hear him talking? He is talking at you. 33 on the nose. He's legal. Oh. All right. Maybe we'll just go spoon bill limits today then. Here we go. Hop up here, dear. Oh, no, no. She's got to get her finger. Now look, I just want you to do like this. Just grab it like this and hold it up, okay? There, just like that, perfect. There you go. Now lift it up. Now you're a big girl. There you go. Lift it up, lift it up a little higher, come on! Put the other hand on this paddle and there pull him up, pull him up. Lift Whew. him up, grab it. You can do it. There now you look at the count. Boom. That is a pitcher now. Heck yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, for her to legally catch it, she has to be drilling it in. Boom. Yeah. So that, that's why I always like the kids to use those rod holders, and and they're they're tough. Now she's a lot tougher than most kids, so yeah, it, it's a tough deal. You know, good job. Still too slow. <laughs> <laughs> hey Brooklyn, you freaking rock star today, girl. You really. All right, guys, that was good. We got three big keepers in here. Now, this is Captain Dan. We do uh, blue cats crappies, spoonbill, and hybrids. Um, we fish Lake of the Ozarks and Truman Lake exclusively. Um, I have two of the guys that work with me. We stay pretty busy all year. Call us anytime. We're happy to answer any questions. If you're in the area and you just need a few tips, stop by Captain's Bait Shop and we're happy to help you out. Enjoy and good fishing. All right, guys, we're gonna start cleaning the fish. I'm gonna change this battery out and we'll be ready to roll here. You see how I start right behind the gills. Just about halfway. You cutting like where the bloodline is? Yeah, that's about right. See, you can always take off a fillet, but you can't add more once you cut it. Right. So you go a little bit more. We put it in the barrel. And we... Now we're gonna head back to the house. This is gonna be Captain Dan's info right up here. Please give him a call. It's super windy, that's why we didn't go out for catfish, which is totally fine. And, and we had a great time going for the spoon bill. And we're gonna see you to the house. Thank you guys, thank you guys. All right guys, so we're back over here at the house. We're gonna uh, get this fish all prepared. We got this bag here, we're gonna set it up and we'll see you in a minute. All right guys, so what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna put whole milk in there overnight with it, let it soak. It should help all the, the fishy flavor and the blood come out of there. And we'll dry it out tomorrow. And tomorrow we'll cut them up, dry it, and we'll see how it is. All right guys, so we didn't do it exactly the way Captain Dan was saying. Well, the way we're gonna do it is the way we have a best prepared for it. So we're just gonna broil it with some butter and lemon pepper, and uh, and that's the way we're gonna do it. We'll see how it is that way. If we don't like it that way, we could try it fried. But uh, this is what we have right here. We donated the, the, the rest of it pretty much to friends and family that uh, wanted to have some as well. I have my grandpa in the kitchen here with me. All right guys, we got a little bit of lemon juice and butter. Gonna add some lemon butter to it, put some pepper on it before we throw it in and and we'll see how it goes. This is gonna be this is gonna allow us to kind of really get a an idea of what it tastes like before we throw we were gonna deep fry it in bacon grease and 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 stuff like that, but this way we can kind of get an idea of what the meat tastes like and then we can go a little bit more exotic with how we do it the next time around. But uh this should be pretty darn good. Okay, now you want the pepper. Got the oil, uh, the oven on broil high. I'm gonna set that in there. All right, we're gonna stick it in there for about 15 minutes, see how it goes. We'll check on it as it's cooking. This is a first for us, so 
Um, you know, I, I, I didn't want to show you guys just any old thing, and I didn't want to just do any old thing, and we don't have just any old thing. So this is all new to us, and it's probably new to you guys, unless you've had it before. And if you've had it before, put it down in the comments how you like it. Next time I'm going to try it the way uh, uh, Captain Dan was saying. We didn't have everything that he was saying with the lemon and lime juice and stuff. We did have lemon juice, but... Um, this should be pretty good, guys, and I appreciate you guys staying tuned with through all this, and um, it was a really fun time, and I can't wait to see what this tastes like, so we'll see you in a minute. <coughs> all right, guys, look at that nice corn and peas right here. We're going to get this. In a minute, we're going to flip these over, put some more butter on them, put them back in for nine more minutes. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Very hot. Right. Ooh. Look at that. Alrighty, yeah, we'll flip them over. We're gonna add a little bit more butter here. Kind of pinked it on just like that. Get it nice and good. Look at that. I'll tell you what, it doesn't smell fishy, y'all. It doesn't Not smell fishy. fishy. Smells good. Okay. Right here. Put on these tiny little bits. Okay. I'm gonna put just a skosh more pepper. Oh. Fresh ground. And this is uh, you know dealing for a while, but that's it. Reminds us that we gotta keep moving. All right, guys, we're going to set that back in, put another uh, nine minutes on the timer. Look at that sizzling. We're going to have to move that over. Um, all right, y'all, and if you don't know, you've probably seen my brother in a couple episodes. That's my, my brother right there. It's my grandpa. We got my we got my oldest daughter Brooklyn, my youngest Savannah, there's Megan, there's my grandma, my beautiful grandma. There's my mama over there. We're gonna come and sit down for a beautiful meal. And it's gonna be a great time, you guys. So we're gonna serve these up on some plates. I'll show you guys that in just a second. And we'll go we'll go take a bite and see what everyone thinks. Alright guys, before we serve it up, I'm gonna take the first bite, see what it's like. Not too hot, alright guys. Grandpa, I think we gave too much away. I think we gave too much to friends and family. Did, did we get some spoon bill or did we go for some hog out there? This is like, it's good. I don't know what swordfish tastes like yet, but I'll tell you what, this tastes like pork. This tastes like pork. That's good. All right, guys, we're gonna take this little piece and we're gonna see what other what everyone else thinks. All right, girls, take a little bite. Tell me what you think. Take a little bite. Mm, big bite. There you go. What you think? Oh yeah, man, looks good. Is it hot? Oh, it's perfect time. What you think, Brooklyn? Mmm, that's good. <laughs> wow. No, that almost seemed fake. What do you really think? What do you really right, think? You... No, that's why it's really me. <laughs> That's good, right. right. When you, I don't so want to you know, That's alright. Take a bite. Tell us what you think, babe. Nah. -uh. I'll feed myself. Take a bite. I'll feed myself. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. I want some. Alright. Take a bite. Let me see what you think. Oh, people can feed themselves. On. It's a little bit crispy. Yeah, good. I love it. It's crispy. Alright, Grandma. If you think it's good, everyone will have to that eat. That is too hot. I like the recipe. What we got? Is that That's not bad, huh? Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. Where you got that? It's still I could just like throw that. some barbecue on that. All right, Grandpa, you got to taste it. You were the one over here directing the kitchen. You got to take a little bite here. I think you need to try this one. No, no, try it. Try a little bit. Try a little bit. I don't mean to feed you. I know, I know. What you think? Honest to God truth. Too much lemon. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. That was that was delicious. We're, 
We're gonna serve it up, y'all, and, and and we're gonna enjoy a nice meal. Let's get right over there. <laughs> She's like, I, I, I'll pray. Let me pray and get done. I want to eat. <laughs> All right. This and this last piece right here, y'all, is for me. This is this is a heck of a meal. Um. I would have done a longer prayer, but people are, are, are hungry, and then there's too many to fight off, so we got to get them fed. But I do want to say, as I'm getting my last plate together here, thank you, Captain Dan. I'm, I, I really do mean it from the bottom of my heart. We had an awesome time. It's something that I'll never forget. Going out with my... I brought it over here. All right, thank you. Going out with the, my oldest daughter there, and um, just having a nice time like that is, is super special. Um, and... Uh, I really couldn't say it enough, so thank you again. Uh, this is going to be an amazing meal, and I'm just so blessed to be able to share this with y'all and share this with my family. And this is something I'd love to be able to continue doing more often. And oh, man, and I, um, I believe it was Luke or Tyler, one of y'all, uh, said do a do a catch, clean, and cook. And and so I apologize if anybody else has been wanting me to do that. This is the time. So. Um, thank you guys for your support again on this channel. Um, this is just what I want to be able to do for the rest of my life. Enjoy, enjoy life, enjoy fishing, enjoy eating. And until next time, y'all, let's go wet that line. <laughs>